especially for our middle school students who love to take average, they're getting good at calculate, they're practicing calculating that mean, um, having them either one, plot all the data, this is the default in our interactive graphing programs. So Data Classroom does it as a jitter, Code App, Tuva do it as, as dot plots, so we could plot all the data, we could make a box and whiskers plot. They are learning this in our middle school math. This is giving us so much information. This is actually, as a reminder, the median. So our center line here in the box plot is the median, not the mean, though that might get, that gives us a lot more information about the data overall, because now we're starting to see, okay, so this is the median value for females. This is the median value for males. This is where most of the males recorded were, most of the females recorded. Yes, they're like there's a pretty wide range, but the range is in general higher for the females and lower for the males. Do you see how many more pieces of evidence we have from our data set that can factor into our claim? All because we moved away from a naked average and we moved into either just not leaving it as a naked average and giving some sort of indication of the variability or even more detailed, not even really using the average at all and using a way to visualize the data that gives us a lot more information about what we're looking at.